That was the commotion caused by an earthquake felt throughout a big part of the southeast, including right here in western North Carolina. This was video taken from Murphy, North Carolina. You could hear the moment the quake happened as the birds there reacted to the earth beneath them shaking. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Liverman. We're continuing to learn more about this earthquake out of Tennessee and felt through our area as well. According to the United States Geological Survey, this was a magnitude 4.1 earthquake that hit early this morning, shortly after 9 a.m. near the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. Certainly a strong one to say the least, as plenty of people in the area say they definitely felt it. Viewers in East Asheville, as well as those in Franklin, Waynesville, Hendersonville, and Arden reported about the earthquake to News 13 earlier today. So I was actually visiting with a friend on Charlotte Street, and we were sitting at her dining room table just sort of talking about things happening in her life, and I had my hands on the wooden table and was like, um, either someone's coming to visit us, or <laughs> there's an earthquake happening. It was just like, you know, all at once. Everything started shaking in my trailer. I thought, oh, the dryer is acting up. And, and I, when I felt the vibration, I thought, oh, it's the dryer. They're, they're old. And so then I, would look, I happened to be looking on Facebook and somebody wrote, did you just feel that? Minor earthquakes happen every year, but our zone is not known to have major tremors. There have been reports that this earthquake was also felt as far away as Indianapolis, Pittsburgh, and even in Jacksonville, Florida. And we're learning more from officials about why folks in the area felt a quake like this, despite it being so far down below the Earth's surface. Thomas Pratt is a research geophysicist with the United States Geological Survey and has been with the agency for more than three decades. Pratt says you'd be surprised if there was much damage, while many viewers in western North Carolina felt the quake and described it as one of the strongest that they've experienced. It still wasn't strong enough to cause damage here. Pratt also added it was important to note that an earthquake in North Carolina will be felt in a lot larger of an area. The energy tr is transmitted a lot more efficiently in the eastern U.S. because there's older, harder rocks. So people in the eastern U.S. notice these a lot more. They don't see as many of them, so it's more of a, a novelty to them. Pratt says during any earthquake, you always want to remember to duck, cover, and hold. He says most injuries happen when things fall on people. All right, so speaking of that earthquake, let's turn over to meteorologist Karen Wynn. Karen, in terms of how rare this type of event is uh, for, an area, for our area, I mean, talk to me about that. Well, we don't get too many 4.1 or above, and so we'll talk about that also about the aftershock forecast. But this one, once again, the epicenter about 80 miles away from Asheville and this depth, 15 miles, it's a shallow earthquake, and so the energy was able to be felt uh, across a larger area, again, including locations as far away as D.C. and Pittsburgh. Now, that 4.1 on the Richter scale, this is considered a light earthquake in the greater scheme of things. You really need to get about a 5 or above for any major damage, and really anything below a 3, you rarely feel. So, again, 4 Point one to give you a bit of context so with the magnitude there, a light earthquake with some noticeable shaking. We certainly had that. The strongest earthquakes in the region, one happened in Charleston that was over a seven back in 1886. The strongest one on record in Asheville was a 5.5 that happened back in 1916. And the aftershock forecast for the coming week, we do have a slight chance, about a 20% chance that we could get an aftershock of magnitude three or above, and we do see that chance goes down as the magnitude increases. Of course, coming up, I'll have your weather. We do have rain moving back in, and that does include a weather-worn day on Monday.